are you've already thought about the possibilities of working in an office. Indeed, you may have already pictured yourself in one or more clerical jobs, maybe as a file clerk, a typist, or a typing supervisor, a stenographer, a secretary. Maybe you'd be interested in a career involving financial matters. As a bookkeeper, cashier, or a bank teller. There are other clerical jobs, too. Have you considered a career, say, as an office machine operator? Working as a computer operator is in the clerical field. Included as clerical workers are telephone operators, receptionists, shipping and receiving clerks, stock clerks, mail clerks, and mail carriers. This film will acquaint you with clerical jobs and qualifications for them, and a great deal more. Clerical workers are needed by virtually every business, government agency, and the armed forces in the United States and in the world. More than 14 million men and women do clerical work in the United States, and employment is increasing rapidly as large and complex organizations in business and government expand. Opportunities will be best for secretaries, stenographers, typists, bookkeeping and accounting clerks, and others who handle paperwork. They will be needed particularly in banks and insurance companies, in manufacturing establishments, and in wholesale and retail trade, in government offices, educational institutions, professional service organizations, and in the armed services. The clerical field is particularly important to women. Women hold 70% of the jobs. It's a field in which women can work for a while, leave to have or care for a family, and return when home responsibilities lessen. A high school education is usually the minimum requirement for clerical work. Graduates with high school instruction in business subjects are regarded as well qualified by most employers. Many in clerical occupations have had additional education after high school, in colleges, junior colleges, private business schools, or the armed forces service schools. Beginning clerical workers receive some on-the-job training in the employer's special ways of doing things. Clerical workers in many kinds of jobs must understand easily what they read. They must know arithmetic, grammar and how to spell. Opportunities are good in many types of office work to advance to better paid jobs, even to supervisory or managerial positions. Having clerical skills enables many young people to get an entry job in an industry or business firm where they'd like to work. There they have a chance to learn about the business and move ahead. Earnings of clerical workers vary substantially, even within the same occupation. To learn what salaries are paid in your area, see the people in the local office of your state employment service. Stenographers and secretaries make up the largest group of clerical workers, 20% of the total. 95% are women. Just about all stenographers and secretaries take dictation and transcribe it on a typewriter. 
Stenographers take dictation from one or more persons. Many have additional duties. Technical stenographers take dictation in medical, legal, or scientific terms. Others are public stenographers. Reporting stenographers record proceedings usually on a machine in court, at conventions, and at other meetings. In addition to stenographic work, secretaries are their boss's right hand and handle many business details for him, such as getting airline and hotel reservations, arranging meetings, answering some correspondence, even anniversary shopping for him. Some secretaries specialize in legal, medical, and other technical work. In addition to facility with spelling, punctuation, grammar, and vocabulary, stenographers and secretaries should have these qualities. Many stenographers advance to better paying positions as secretaries. Both stenographers and secretaries may be promoted to such positions as administrative assistant or office supervisor. The typewriter is also the business partner of many hundreds of thousands of typists in all kinds of public and private enterprises. Typists transcribe from handwritten or printed copy. Many combine typing with other kinds of office work. Qualifications for a typist include a rate of 40 to 50 words per minute. Typists must have these and the ability to concentrate in the midst of distractions. Many good typists advance to secretary or stenographer by learning to take dictation at 80 or more words per minute. Bookkeepers and accounting clerks comprise the second largest group of clerical workers. They record transactions by hand in journals and ledgers and on other forms and prepare income statements. Most employers prefer high school graduates who have taken business arithmetic and bookkeeping. Bookkeeping workers should be good with numbers and details. They may advance to more responsible assignments, to operation of complex bookkeeping machines or to supervision. Workers operate many different machines to speed the paperwork in the modern business office. Bookkeeping machines record financial transactions, Billing machines on which customers' bills are prepared. Tabulating machines. They sort and count statistical information. Adding and calculating machines. Copiers for a few copies. Duplicating machines for long runs. Equipment for processing mail. For high school or business school graduates, a general knowledge of the equipment is usually enough to obtain a beginning job. Promotion may be to a more complex machine. Employers and the armed services often provide the needed training. Or a worker may be assigned to train others or be promoted to a section or department head. Machine operators should have these. Jobs for computer operating personnel are chiefly in government agencies, the largest users of computers, and in insurance companies, banks, wholesale and retail business, transportation and public utility companies, manufacturing firms and independent service organizations that process data for other firms. Data to be processed is coded on cards by key punch operators or on paper tape by data typist. A console operator checks the input of coded data, studies instructions of the programmer who laid out the procedure and starts the run to make up a payroll, for example. Beginners who must have at least a high school education are usually trained after they are hired. Operators should be able to reason logically, learn new techniques and understand technical material. Promotion is to more complex assignments, to supervisor, 
and with more study, to programmer. This is a fast-growing field. Employment is expected to increase very rapidly. Almost one million cashiers in the United States received payments made by customers for goods and services. Three quarters of all cashiers work in grocery, drug, and other retail stores, and a substantial number in restaurants and theaters. Employers prefer to hire high school graduates and train them in classrooms or informally on the job. Cashiers should be accurate, have a facility with figures, and good finger dexterity. Since they deal with the public, they should be tactful, pleasant, and neat. Beginner salaries are often at or near the minimum wage required by law, but employment in this occupation is expected to increase rapidly. Bank tellers receive and pay out money and record the transactions. To many customers, the teller is the bank, so tellers must be neat, tactful, and courteous. As banks expand their services, the number of tellers is expected to increase very rapidly. 60% of telephone operators work for telephone companies. Most are long distance operators. Many are directory assistance operators. Due to direct calling and other changes, little or no growth in employment is expected. 40% are PBX operators who run in-house switchboards serving all kinds of establishments. Employment of PBX operators is expected to rise slowly. Why can't I talk to a human being instead of listening to this? Operators should have a pleasing voice, be courteous. I'm terribly sorry, sir. If you'd like to hold, I'll check the circuits for you. Thank you. And should like to serve the public. I'd like to report a fire at the home of... The receptionist is her employer's public representative. She greets visitors, gives them information, and directs them to the right office or person. Almost all receptionists are women. More than half of them are employed in the offices of professional people. Many others work in hospitals, educational institutions, banks and insurance companies, and manufacturing firms. In contrast to all the clerical occupations you have seen to this point, men are predominantly employed as shipping and receiving clerks, as stock clerks, postal clerks and their counterparts in private business, mail clerks, and mail carriers. Working conditions for clerical workers are generally very good. A 40-hour work week is the rule, although many employees in some occupations may have to work during abnormal hours. Clerical workers are usually part of a team and depend on each other to do their job. A clerical job is something you can try on while still in school by working at it part-time. Some companies provide such work opportunities for students or you can offer your help in your school office or do volunteer clerical work for your church, a political organization, or school activity. Clerical work may be for you, but before you decide, find out about all the other career areas. Seek occupational information on your own. Talk with your school counselor. Talk with your parents. Not only salary data, but information about local employment conditions and opportunities can be obtained from the state employment service people. Discuss clerical opportunities with a recruiter at your local armed forces recruiting offices. With your counselor's help, choose the just right career for you and map out the education and training you'll need and get moving on it. Start shaping a good life for yourself now. Only you can do it.